So if you wanna learn how to create an interactive pricing modal in Framer, this video is for you. We're gonna recreate this pricing modal here in a matter of minutes. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Framer and we have a real basic setup here of a pricing model, but it doesn't really do much. Like we have a button here, which is great, but we actually wanna add a toggle so we can switch between a monthly and annual pricing. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in a new frame and we're just gonna add it up the top here and let's call this toggle and it's gonna be inside our card. And let's give it a height of say 25 pixels and the width can be 50. And we're gonna make this as round as possible. Now let's go in and make this a bit of a gray. And then inside of this, we're actually gonna add a new frame uh, and we're going to set the width of this to say be 20 pixels. And I'm gonna make the radius as high as possible as well. And this essentially is just acting as our toggle switcher. So when someone actually clicks this, it'll create an animation to switch over the pricing information. So let's keep it like this and let's set the layout option and we're gonna make it so it's going to distribute to the start. And we wanna add some padding on this as well. So we'll make the padding something slight like five pixels. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, great. Now let's go in and actually create this card as a component and we'll call it pricing modal. And what we wanna do is call this variant monthly and we're going to add a second, second variant called uh, annual. And essentially what we're gonna do is change the content for when this state flicks over. So the first thing here is actually updating this toggle here. So when someone actually clicks on this toggle, we wanna transition them from the monthly components to the annual one. And we can do this by just changing the distribution of this to be on the right and changing whatever information we want. So we'll call this the annual plan. It's going to be, uh, you know, $99 a year and it's gonna give you access to 10 projects instead of two. So now that we have these two cards created, we now have to set an interaction so we can switch between. So we wanna make it that when someone clicks on this toggle here, uh, we actually want to transition them to this annual component. So we're going to click on this little zap and we're gonna drag it over to the annual one. And you'll see this interaction model has appeared. And we can now set the effect. So we wanna make it that when someone actually clicks on it uh, instantly, so with zero delay, it's going to switch over to this. So if we press on play and if we go over and click on this, you'll notice that it will automatically just transition over. But we also need to make it that it transitions back. So now we can go into our annual one here and we can do the same thing. We can add a new interaction by either uh, trying to drag it with this little zap here or going up to the top and pressing on interaction and creating a new transition. And we're gonna go from on tap. So when someone clicks it again, it's gonna cycle back to monthly. So again, let's go back to our homepage and let's click on preview. You can see it automatically changes, almost. So the reason it didn't work there is actually because we have two interactions set up and it's trying to like redo that monthly one at the same time. So we just need to make sure that we remove that. So now we can actually properly, hopefully, trigger in between. Perfect, that looks great. So very quickly, you can see how we can create an interactive pricing model in Framer. And we can use this same technique for a lot of different things, whether we wanna create micro interactions, whether we wanna create drop down fields, whatever it is, there's so much power. So if you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.